Hey golfers, PGA Teaching Professional Todd Kolb with you and today we're going to talk about the proper setup and specifically ball position when it comes to hitting a standard chip shot. So the first thing we want to look at when we're talking about ball position with, the, with our chip shots is the lie. What type of lie do I have? So right now we're talking about just your standard chip shot, nice little clean lie, maybe on the fringe or kind of a fairway cut uh, situation. Now with all good chip shots, the first key component we want is to make sure that we hit the golf ball before we hit the ground. So we want the club to come in contact with the ball as it's traveling in a slight downward motion. So in order to do that, we want to make sure that we position the golf ball slightly back towards the trail foot. And when I do that, that will help me catch the ball as the club is still traveling in a downward motion. Now there's a couple other key components here to hitting quality chip shots other than the ball position. And I want to share with you just a couple of those. The first is that on a regular chip shot, you're going to have your feet pretty close together, certainly closer than you would on a standard shot. We've already talked about moving the ball slightly back in the stance. Personally, I like my feet to be angled slightly open. So as a right-handed golfer, they're aimed slightly to the left of the target. I also like the handle the hands to be basically equal with the ball or maybe slightly in front of the golf ball a little bit. I'm not a big advocate of having the hands way in front because it de-lofts the golf club and can cause a lot of challenges when it comes to hitting you know, quality chip shot in the club going through the turf. The other tip that uh, really goes unlooked lots of times and I've had tremendous success with with my students and that is the pressure on their feet. I want them to feel that they've got almost 70 percent, 60, 70 percent of the pressure they might feel as weight on their lead foot. And what that allows them to do is it allows them to catch the ball in a slight downward motion and also creates a lot of stability. So when we're looking at a standard chip shot, just off the green, kind of fairway height, I want to make sure I catch the golf ball first. I can do that with ball position, ball slightly back in the stance. Feet are going to be pretty close together, all right? I've got a little bit more pressure on my lead foot. Hands are slightly in front. Go ahead and make my standard motion. I should be able to catch the golf ball first, pop right on the green, and hopefully see your golf ball finish right next to the cup. Hello golfers, PGA Teaching Professional Todd Kolb with you here today and I'm going to share with you a couple real good insights on how to hit a chip shot out of the rough and how ball position you know, really kind of plays into this situation because the rough is a little different, grass is a little longer and generally also it's a little bit thicker. So ball position, the first thing you need to know about ball position when you're hitting out of the rough is we want to move the ball back in the stance and you've heard me say before when you're hitting a standard chip shot the ball's you know kind of in the center maybe back a little bit but when you're hitting out of the rough you definitely want to move that ball back further in the stance. So I'm going to have that ball basically off my back foot. Now there's a couple other things though that I got to share with you in order for you to hit this golf shot when it's out of the rough. The first thing is that when you're in the rough you want more loft. Loft is a good thing. Loft allows you to swing the club quicker but yet hit the ball higher and when you can swing the club quicker it makes it easier for you to get that club you know through the turf. So I've got my most lofted club in my bag 58 degrees. So that would be the first thing I'd tell you. Grab a club with a lot of loft on it. Now also what you want to do is when you're hitting this chip shot out of the rough you want to make sure of course like you've got a little bit of pressure forward you feel like you might have a little bit more weight on your lead foot maybe 70 60 percent something like that i've got the ball back in my stance and then after that i'm just going to make a nice aggressive swing keep the club face a little bit open i don't want the club face to close over i want to keep the club face a little bit open so that i have lots of loft on the face so hitting chip shots out of the rough you got to have proper ball position. That ball is going to be definitely back in the stance. I'm going to grab a club with a lot of loft because I need some speed. If I get loft and speed, I can get some height. I can get that club through there. And then in the motion, pretty simple, just make sure though that you keep the face slightly open, which will allow the ball to come out a little bit higher. So these couple tips with proper ball position will help you navigate those chip shots out of the rough. Hello golfers, PGA Teaching Professional Todd Kolb and today we're talking about how to hit the high soft chip shot. Now first of all, what is that and, and how is that different than just a standard shot? Well, I think the word kind of describes it for itself. I want to hit it high 
and I want to hit it soft. So typically, it might be a shot that we're hitting up over a bunker, all right, a green side bunker in order to get it up and down on a, you know, it could be any hole, par three or a par five, doesn't really matter. But I want the golf ball to come out high. I want it to come out soft. Now, in today's example, I'm just talking about a standard lie, nice kind of fairway lie, and how do I hit this shot? The first thing you got to understand, because this is where a lot of people go wrong, is you got to have proper ball position with this shot. Standard chip shot, yes, we're going to move the ball back in the stance a little bit. High soft shot, we are not doing that. We're moving the ball so it's more in the center of the stance. That will allow us to deliver more loft to the golf ball at contact. So that's the first tip. Number one is get that ball more in the center of the stance. The other thing that I want you to be aware of, because a lot of people go wrong here, is I got you to be, you have to be aware of shaft angle. Most people, when they're hitting a chip shot, lean the shaft way forward, and that's fine on a normal shot, but if you're trying to hit it high and soft, when you lean the shaft forward, you de-loft the golf club, it almost makes the shot impossible. So you want to set up so that the handle and the club head are in a neutral position. All right, those two tips go along with the standard ones that we give on all chip shots. Feet are pretty close together, pressure a little bit forward on the lead foot. So, let's do a quick recap. I want to hit the golf ball high and soft. All right, I got to have a club with a lot of loft on it. I want the ball in the center. I want a neutral shaft angle. And if I go ahead and make my natural chipping motion, that ball will pop up nice and high and soft and hopefully finish close to the cup.